Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we have to find this limit. Limit when x approach to 0 of 1 over x plus 3 minus 1 over 3, everything over x. So the first thing you're going to do is to plug this 0 and see what you get. We get 1 over 0 plus 3 minus 1 over 3 over 0. And if you notice, we end up with 0 over 0, right? 1 over 3 minus 1 over 3 is 0. And the denominator is 0. This is an undefined form, which means we have to use another way to find this limit. So let's see how we do that. You take the numerator in this case and try to simplify this subtraction of two rational expression. And the least common multiple for these two expression is 3 times x plus 3. So now I'm going to find the equivalent expression for the 1 over x plus 3, but with this denominator. And that is very simple. Just multiply by 3 the uh, numerator. And these two expressions are equivalent. The same story about the second part of this. This 1 over 3 will be the equivalent expression that has this denominator. That will be x plus 3 over 3 times the quantity x plus 3. Now, they have the same denominator. We can add, in fact, subtract. So we have 3 minus x minus 3. Be careful here. Over 3 over x plus 3. And if you notice these two, 3 cancel out. So the simplest form here is negative x over 3 times the quantity x plus 3. So now we can go back in this limit. And that limit becomes limit when x approach to 0 of what? Okay, so this numerator is right here now. We have negative x over 3 times the quantity x plus 3 over x. And here you can do a simplification like this. So our simplest form of our original limit is limit when x approach to 0 of negative, don't forget about that, 1 over 3 times the quantity x plus 3. Now, you can plug 0 in and we end up with negative 1 over 3 times 0 plus 3. That will be negative 1 over 9. So, the limit we start from limit when x approach to 0 of 1 over x plus 3 minus 1 over 3, everything over x is negative 1 over 9. Let's take a look a little bit to the graph that goes with this uh, complex fraction, complex expression. You notice we have a hole when we go at 0. Of course, the function is not de defined. We have this undefined form. But when you get closer to zero from the left or the right, uh, you notice you go closer to a specific value, which is hard to be read on the graph, which is negative 1 over 9. If you enjoyed this little clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.